Yes, indeed, friends and neighbors. Welcome down to Banjo Bonanza, the special surf banjo episode in which there was a lot of excitement for. I've worked up six songs uh, to play on the banjo that are all surf, and uh, I will continue if that seems like a good idea. But we're so glad that you can come down and join us today. We've got our stellar opening act. We've added a, uh, a, a new member here. This is, this is Mr. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Lander. And uh, he's from up in northern Wisconsin, decided to come down, and uh, he's going to play the jug. And then, of course, we have the High Strung Hillbilly Hamsters and Froggy Win a Basin. So we always like to start off uh, uh, the Banjo Bonanza with this stellar opening act, the High Strung Hillbilly Hamsters with Froggy Win a Basin and Mr. Ryan Lander. So, without any further ado, I'm going to back up and let these guys do their thing. the uh, High Strung Hillbilly Hamsters with Mr. Froggy Win a Basin as well as joined on the jug by Mr. Ryan Lander. Oh man, seven ounces of just pure jug playing theory right there. I'm going to go ahead and scoot these guys up. Well done, well done. We've got quite the band evolving here. I can't wait to see who might join us next time the Captain Crawfish sends by. Because you know, anything's possible when Captain Crawfish is involved. Hey! All right, it's good to see you guys. Welcome down. I hope your weekend was excellent. And then I hope things are going well for you. And if things are a little rough, I hope they're getting better. Because remember, at some point, something's bound to go right. And uh, that's that could be a little itty bitty thing, or it could be a big old thing, or it could be a uh, uh, you know a combination of the both of them. But the most important thing is, we're glad that you're able to tune in with us today and that uh, you have the means to do that and to get happy with some five string banjo and the uh, experiment of surf banjo holy moly it's been it's been fun working these up uh, you know it's not something that i just wanted to do half ass so uh, we're going to wait a little bit longer in the program for more folks to join us as they get off work and things like that here we're getting the surf banjo so right now i'm very very excited just to get into some of our classics here put fresh strings on too for the occasion Which always feels good. Oh yeah. Man, this is like Mickey Thompson Sportsman ST tires with KYB gas adjust shocks and uh, like you know new sway bars front and rear. This thing's handling pretty doggone well. <laughs> Alright, well let's kick it off with the old Flint Hill special. I haven't played that one in a while. So now that I got this thing all tuned up and ready to go, let's have some fun. Friends, welcome down to Banjo Bonanza. We're so glad you're here.
excited about worked well for the acoustic episode we just like to know that it's sounding good for the banjo episode well my cousin Ryan requested a, a nine pound hammer and I just thought I'd do that on banjo Ryan here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this guy here, I'm going to push this guy here, I'm going to bump this guy here, hot damn. There we go, there we go, that should give us a little bit of bump. And uh, let me know if we need more because, man, I'm like an FE Ford right here. We got torque for days. Oh, that was, that was a fun one. Woo! All the new strings are sounding, sounding good. Yes, yes, yes.
that's a cool one. That's down in the Willow Garden. Worked up on some Scruggs tuners. I've been listening to some, uh, a, lot of, a lot of banjo players, actually. Check out Buck Trent. Buck Trent is an amazing banjo player. He uh, designed a one-of-a-kind banjo that actually has, like, you know, guitar pickups on the outside of the head, and it, it has a response, like a pedal steel guitar, and he plays it like that. He originally uh, played with Porter Wagner back in the 60s. Check out the Porter Wagner TV show on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, uh, I also have a YouTube channel. How about that? Marlene set it up. Uh, I know I'm so technologically behind, but Marlene is doing a fantastic job on uh, making sure that this music can be heard by as many people who would like to hear it. So please subscribe, because we, we want to put some momentum behind that. So go to the YouTube and just subscribe to that if you would. Uh, there's also, uh, speaking of Buck Trent, there's a great album he did in the 70s with Roy Clark called Roy Wilson. No, Roy Wilson just tuned in. <laughs> Roy! Man, I was talking about Roy Clark and then Roy Wilson showed up. Man, my buddy from Comac, New York. Roy, I was getting some good down the Willow Garden there, man. That was pretty awesome. So I was just telling the folks, Roy, about a great record, which I have. Oh, I should have grabbed it. I just thought of it. It's called Banjo Bandits. And th these guys are done up like banjo pimps, man. I mean, it is, it is something else. They, uh, they, they look, it's, they're garbed in, the, in like the, the over-the-top 70s stuff. And it was just, it was something else. So uh, definitely check that out. Banjo Bandits, Buck Trent and Roy Clark. Look up Buck Trent. He does some great stuff with the uh, Scruggs Tuners. All right. Let's see now here. I'm going to go ahead and get into another one for you right here. Let's do some uh, old slew foot. What do you say, honey? <laughs> Yeah. 
send us a message late at night and we'll, we'll be up to get it. Madeline Sinclair is here. All right. Tracy DeVoe. Oh, Tracy, welcome down. Nanook from all the way around the world is tuning in. Nanook, I love that. I, uh, I, I saw your message about uh, uh, Surfing USA. I haven't worked that one out on the banjo yet. It takes a, I want to do these right. So it, it takes, um, it, it takes some time to, to get these dialed in. So uh, I'll, I'll see how that one works on the banjo. Some of them work great. Some of them is just like putting French's yellow mustard on a peanut butter and jelly. It just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jeff DeSera is here. All right, Jeff. And Sarah Travis. Sarah Travis, big hug to you. Thank you for sending valuable information my way. And uh, I'm going to be able to spend some computer time on that. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Jason Williams and Beth are here. Ah. Oh, you guys uh, were the, some of the catalysts for surf banjo, so I'd like you to know that uh, we have a big thanks to you guys for actually taking that more than just some crazy thing that happened on Banjo Bonanza and making it a uh, reality. Mr. Timothy or else. I got to do a gig with Timothy over the weekend, which was awesome. We played for a television uh, uh, program in this giant hall where nobody was at. It was kind of strange, but we were glad to do it, and it was great to play with Timothy or else. Timothy Orr is a great drummer and a great friend. And uh, uh, he, uh, he's very knowledgeable in many, many things. So, you know, he told me some great Dave Brubeck stories. Dave Brubeck's from Concord, California, which is 20 minutes from Port Costa. Uh, and some other stuff. So talk to Timothy about that. Mary Wheeler is here. All right. And Mr. Bob Powell has a $2 bill with him tonight. Okay, we got a new $2 bill right now. I know our, our friend Bob Powell took a, like a 400 mile trip and when he was on his long journey home, he got a $2 bill in change. That's awesome. So, friends, thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, do, the, do the meet and greet here. Uh, Tracy Roach is our, uh, our unofficial official greeter, which is just because she's so wonderfully kind and welcoming everybody. So if I didn't get a chance to say howdy to you, know that I'm just trying to keep the music going, and I'm certainly not uh, forgetting. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn down while I tune. Because this banjo has that feature, which is pretty awesome. These are brand spanking new strings, friends. You see, it's like Mickey Thompson Sportsman STs with KYB gas. It just shocks. Feels good. Feels real good. So 
Bob, I love that you shared that with the music group, man. Uh, that's that's what, one of the cool things I'm loving seeing in, in the music group is, is things we talk about on the show come up in the group. So if you have, you know, cool things to, to share that, you know, keep it a jerk-free zone, go ahead and share it. We, 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 love, we love this community. And uh, that's one of the cool things about it, too. We can just pop little stories in there. Ah, oh, Bisnorpel is here. All right, Bisnorpel. I'm glad you're here for the surf banjo, man. Uh, I'm going to do that in about 15 minutes. And one of the things that we're going to do also, I'm going to get back to playing here in just a bit, is that we tried on the acoustic show, and we're going to do for every now, on every now it, from shows on, is we're going to do a group share of share the show every half hour. And uh, because there might be somebody who needs to hear this music. It might lift them up. They might be in a dark place, or they might just be like, just... They don't even know they need it until they hear it. And this is all of our ways to be able to say, hey, check out this music, check out this jerk-free zone. So we're gonna do, everybody get your mouse ready. There's a little share arrow. It sounds like this. It looks like it sounds, it's pretty cool. I look at so many things and I don't just see them, I hear them. It's, I, I'll go into that some other time. Don't worry, I've never done LSD. So uh, let's all do a share. Everybody ready to click? Three. Two, one, share. Aw, oh, thanks guys, gals, and friends. Cool, thanks for doing the group share. We'll, we'll, we'll do group shares throughout the show, and if you just feel like sharing it again, go for it. All right, Michael Montanez is here, yes. Okay friends, it's time for some $2 bill. Hey, Molly, our rock star microbiologist. I'm gonna make up a song about microbiology. Molly, if you could give uh, Marlene a, uh, a, a few key phrases. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. That'll really challenge myself, too, because I normally do those on guitar. <laughs> All right, time for the earworm. Let's do some $2 bill for Bob Powell and for Dominique. <laughs> Lost all my money but a $2 bill, Bob. $2 bill, boys. $2 bill, Dominique. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill, Jimmy bro. I'm on my long journey home. Well, lost all my money but a two dollar bill, two dollar bill.
about Wade Ward last week. Wade Ward is just one of my favorite old-time banjo players. So let's see, friends. Look at this. I sense a theme. Hmm. Do I drink a lot of Pabst beer or what? Hey, Marcy. Another Pabst goblet. Hey, Ryan. Another Pabst goblet. It's not really focusing here. Maybe if I get like this. There we go. Cheers to you guys. Tall boys. In a parking lot. At Daddy-O's. When the sun was coming up. <laughs> I will always remember that, Marcy. <laughs> Cheers to you, my good friend of 21 years. Ah, so Ryan, I'm looking forward to some Rhinelander and some old style when, when I get back there to Wisconsin, man. It's like ice cold, just like freezing, and then, you know, put a, a koozie around it. <laughs> All righty, friends, uh, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to get into the surf banjo section. Like I said, i got six tunes worked up already, and uh, I can't wait to share them with you. I'm going to do a few more of our, of our favorite standards here, and then get into the surf banjo, which I'm excited to do. Here's a song I have not played on the show yet. I pick it on guitar all the time, but it's time to do a banjo version. Here's one called Salt Creek. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, from my sister Liz. Awesome. And Larry is here too. Larry, I, I don't have any Schlitz mugs, man. I have a Schlitz sign, but I do not have Schlitz mugs. Oh well. I know, I tried to get all the really delightfully crappy Wisconsin uh, affordable beers. Because remember, broke goes away, cheap lasts forever. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going through my, my beer mug. I have a lot of Pabst. Like I said, I should, we got the uh, C minus, we got the Coors. Um, I have the Rolling Rock from the Glass Line Tanks of Old Latrobe. Oh, man. The dig, dig out, see what else I got back in the cupboards. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then we're going to get into some surf. Banjo. Thank you. 
treatment on there. Well, friends, I'm glad you are here because I'm going to attempt something brand spanking new. Surf banjo. I just, I just typed it into the images of Google. The only thing that brought back was this monk who surfs and plays banjo. And I was like, man, he's on a surfboard in like his, 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 his monk attire, like holding a banjo. And I was like, there's got to be somebody else who does surf banjo. And I couldn't find anybody. There probably is. It's either because it's just not a good idea. Be like, no, don't do it. Or it's just, uh, who knows. In this day and age, I'll, you know, it's a musical adventure and I'd like to give it a try. So I'm going to have to get a photo shoot of a surf, surfboard banjo thing. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, I'm going to put this in even better tune than it is. Friends, one of the things that really helps allow like new adventures like this is financial enthusiasm support for the show uh, this makes it so that we can continue to research to practice to eat to have beer to keep the lights on in a day and age where the live entertainment industry is pretty much ground to a halt and uh, Thanks to you guys, the show is continuing, and we are able to continue to work on the show, to do our due diligence off the screen and uh, be between show days to keep bringing you the show. And I tell you what, if, if, uh, if you can, some financial enthusiasm invests in future episodes, both Banjo Bonanza and Polzak Ponderosa. Uh, tell some new people, too, so that way, um, you know, if, if, you're, if, if you're just, you know, tapped out, we can, uh, we, we, can, we can get some other sponsors on the show and uh, keep it going. And also, in, a, in, a, in about 10 minutes, we're going to do another share of the show, big old group click, and uh, see, see, if, see if we can share it 100 times. That's, that's going to be our goal because we got up to like 98 on the uh, Ponderosa. So if we can do like 100 shares uh, an episode, that would be pretty awesome just to get things going. All righty, friends. Uh, again. We couldn't do this without you. You are literally keeping performing arts alive, keeping professional working artists going. You're investing in music. I was talking with Timothy. Investing in it now, make sure you keep the rust off the musical chrome so that when we can get back together, all, you know, everybody's not all, all rusty and, and like had to take other, you know, other jobs and put down the instruments. We don't want to put down the instruments. It's, it's too important. It's too important for the music. It's, it's, it's more than just individuals. It's about the music. And if we can keep this music going at a high caliber, week, weekly, day in and day out, I know there's a lot of musicians doing that, then we're literally keeping the boat afloat. And you guys are helping us do that. So we thank you in advance for your financial enthusiasm. If you'd like to send analog financial enthusiasm, in other words, a check, uh, go ahead and uh, direct message me and I will... I'm not on the computer too much, but I, 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 I do check. Also, for those who have already purchased Jerk Free Zone shirts, uh, we're just waiting for the shirts to arrive to our printer. And once they do, it'll be a quick turnaround because they're just down there in Oakland, which is about an hour from here. So I can go ahead and pick it up and literally mail it the next day. But just wanted to give you uh, the update on that, is that uh, as soon as they, uh, they get their order, we're going to be good to go. So thanks for those who are ordering the Jerk Free Zone shirts uh, and prepaying. That we've got enough for the order, so as soon as those shirts arrive, we're going to send them on out to you. All right, it's surf banjo time, friends. Let me see what I got on the list here. Well, first thing I need is more reverb. Just like more cowbell, you need more reverb. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit more on there. Yeah, that's that's that, that's getting surf-like. Oh yeah. Alrighty, well, here we go, friends. 
CD on it as a guitar number. Now check this out. One, isn't that? Yes. Johnny Bartlett and Marlene did the artwork on this. That's those are Marlene's legs. And uh, uh, we put the song Comanche on here. It was originally written by the Ravels as a saxophone tune. So I thought, all right, nobody's done it on guitar. 
So I came up with the guitar arrangement. Then I decided to take it one step further, or one step insaner. I don't know which it is. But I decided to do it on banjo. So right now, hey Timothy, <laughs> this is going to get scary. I mean, the association with this song is already somewhat negative, although it's a great surf song. But now I'm going to do it on banjo. So friends, right now, for the very first time ever, to the best of my knowledge, is Comanche on five-string surf banjo. Look what you guys started. <laughs> oh, no. If you guys like this, Marlene said that we should actually do an EP. Because I guarantee there's not a surf banjo EP out there. Awesome, you guys. Cool. I, I can't wait to show you what else I got. And remember, this is just the beginning. Um, it takes like probably like two to three hours per tune just to get it to the point where it's internalized and doesn't feel like I'm being a hack at it. So, you know, just because uh, there, there's no other reference to draw off of other what's than in this crazy melon of mine. So I just see what I can come up with. And I'm looking forward to improving these two. <laughs> Thank you. 
Taichi on the five string. I think that's the first time I've ever done that or heard it. Actually, I know it's the first time. I haven't done any of these tunes before. All right, while I'm in a key of D, I have to do, we, we have to do the, the, the surf anthem. I mean, Mr. Dick Dale, of course. I got to see Dick Dale's last performance at the Rhythm Collision that my friend Axel puts on in Riverside, California. And as far as we know, that is still happening. First weekend of January 2021, we're there. My friend Roy, I, Roy, I can't wait to make music with you, man. I miss them. All right. Continuing on our crazy odyssey of surf banjo. So I worked up six tunes. Like six is enough to show you that I'm serious about it, but also not enough to just completely alienate everybody. <laughs> but I think I like it. I'm going to stick with it, I think. So friends, it's 8.04 right now. Let's do another group share. This is a good time to share because there are four more surf banjo songs. So everybody line up the, uh, line up the mouse over the share button. Remember, this is free and fun. Fun and free. Remember, to share this is good. So we're all going to do it together. As the Ponderosa community, we're going to share the show. Share the show. In three, two, one. Share the show. Yes. Thank you for sharing the show. Click, click, click. Share the show. You guys are awesome. Thank you for sharing the show and for your financial enthusiasm. Literally, that will allow me to learn more surf banjo tunes and really get these dialed in for the EP. Because if I record it, I'm going to have to know these inside and out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs>
management up on the spot because I saw my buddy Jerry Tenney said, you're ready to, you're, you're ready to play a bar mitzvah. Jerry, I do that on surf guitar in a whole different key. So uh, once I saw that you were here, man, I had to do it. My buddy Jerry Tenney is tuning in. He's a great klezmer musician, so he's, I, I hope you weren't just, just like gritting your teeth at, you know, I only hit about 75% of the notes there. But again, I, that was unrehearsed, that, that part anyways. So Jerry, that's, uh, that's the uh, A for effort and uh, C for a lot of improvement. Nick! All right, hey folks, my brother Nick is here. And we're in bag fry time. Bag fry, sir, we, we're, we're riding the rip wave, friends. Bag fry time with surf banjo. Yeah, we're, we're muscle tough. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Yeah, Nick. All right. Please, friends, make welcome my brother Nick. His wife Liz and uh, father-in-law Larry are already tuned on. And now we're getting the, the Quincy Polzacs on board. Yes. Wow. All right. That was a fun adventure. That was. Now we're gonna make it seven tunes or six and a half. I'm gonna put this in better tune than it already is. Let's see what else do I got on here. I'm gonna stay in the key of D. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch out to to, to G because the tune I was thinking of was pretty familiar to that one. Friends, thanks for joining in the adventure of surf banjo. I can't wait to practice these tunes more. If you're enjoying them, as an entertainer, I try to pick what speaks to my heart so I can play it as best I can, and then I hope it speaks to you. But really, I'm just, uh, I just love doing what you, what you would like to hear and what fires you up. And when we can find common ground on that, it's a great thing. And speaking of, of common ground and just giving appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our lovely lady Marlene, our producer. Our director, our troubleshooter, inspiration, and with a big fan, I look, you're really cute right now, uh, running the show and, uh, and setting up the YouTube channel, which I would, I would ask you to subscribe. Also, if you're not subscribed uh, to my website, I'm doing weekly emails. So go to uh, MitchPolzak.com and subscribe. And that way, uh, if you're not on Facebook all the time, like me, uh, I mean, I'm not on there that much. Uh, we can let you know what's happening, and, and that way you can just pick and choose what you want to get. So, check this out. Here we go. That reverb's are righteous. That's 60s out there, friend. I tried to get like Trashman style reverb. I am working on a version of Surf and Bird on banjo. Believe it or not, I, I almost talked myself out of it, but then late last night, I was like, Three, uh, three tall boys of Medelo uh, into it after practicing, and I was like, I should do Surfing Bird. And then I just started, bah, 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 mow, mow, bah, bah, mow, I started working on banjo. It might happen, I don't know. No promises, but uh, uh, Nick, I know you and I have been singing that one together for our whole lives, so if I can figure out a way to do Surfing Bird on banjo, I will. Okay, here we go, friends. Let's continue with Surf Banjo. <laughs> Yeah, wipe out. <laughs> Thank you. 
version of Wipeout. And my nephew August came on. Friends, oh, say hi to my nephew August. He's just tuning in. Augie, I'm so glad you can make time, man. This is awesome. My nephew August is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. He's a heck, heck of an athlete, and uh, he's, a, he's a really, really knowledgeable and thoughtful guy, and he is totally himself, which I respect. August, check it out, and Nick, too. There is a PBS documentary called The Circus. Uh, Travis recommended that we watch it. Marlene and I sat down and watched it like we could in two days. Um, there's an episode that is entirely devoted to the Ringling Brothers, and they're even using the exact same pictures that we have on our wall that the old man gave us. So it's really, really cool. The, the Ringling Brothers, friends, were one of the first circus acts to continually employ live music as well as jazz. Yeah, very humble beginnings. Uh, and family camaraderie, it's so strong. It was, and it's so well done. So uh, anybody else who's interested in that, the reason I bring that up is uh, we are direct descendants of August Ringling, hence where my nephew gets his name, of the Ringling Brothers Circus, which is why I'm attempting this. It's in the blood, I can't help it. And there's a great documentary, PBS, God bless PBS. Um, I love, I love things on PBS. And one of the cool things is they, thank you, honey, they, uh, they, they pull from this book, Ringlingville, in which they, they talk about the, the brothers and uh, August, who we're related to, he was the only one who never signed on as a partner. So as our dad would say, all the name, none of the money, but we were making our own fortune. But there, it's, uh, here we go. Check it out, August. You know this already, but here's who you're named after. Nick, recognize these pictures? These are exactly from the Ringling Brothers picture we have on the wall. Honey, would you mind grabbing that? I'm gonna show the folks here. John Ringling, who's the eldest living Ringling brother. Get that look. Um, so, so cool. And, uh, I'll share with you, this is, so you saw those pictures in the book, these same pictures. This is uh, given to me by my dad when I turned 18. And this is an original shot of the Ringling Brothers. Uh, all the Polzacs have this picture hanging close to the front door. That's the tradition and the mojo. And uh, it's, it, this performance runs deep in the blood. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, and just because uh, my amazing nephew, August, tuned in. Uh, August, this is some of your family history, man. This is so cool. And I know your, your folks, your mom and dad, have, have talked a lot about that. And I know you know a lot about it already. But just wanted to let you know that it's, uh, that's a great documentary. So check that out. You guys may have already seen it. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's that and the Barkers, who uh, that's Ma Barker and the Barker Gang. Who works for Al Capone, so if I ever write an autobiography, it'll be called Circus Folk and Outlaws, <laughs> combined with Surf Banjo. So that's a little bit of history there. Okay, I'm going to get back to the Surf Banjo because we're in bag fries right now. All right, let me see what I got on the list here. Cool. I got, uh, I got two more Surf Banjo numbers that I worked up, and if you guys like it, I'll work up some more. It takes about two to three hours a tune, so that is why we so appreciate your financial enthusiasm because we still want to make this our full-time job so that you know we're delivering you the best show we possibly can uh, this goes a long way friends it doesn't look like live shows are, are going to be opening up except for uh, the, the random few where they close off the street so this is a uh, this is entirely our line of income right now and we appreciate it we're having a blast we're having a blast doing this for you friends because we're creating the jerk free zone yes Right on, you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna continue. I just got so excited that the, the all the Nick Polzacs that they're in Quincy are are, are are tuned in. And and Serena, if you're tuned in too, that's awesome. Serena may be working, uh, but please, uh, Liz, Nick, Augie, uh, Larry, tell Serena I give her a big old Uncle Mitch hug and that I love her very much. All right, friends, here we go. Here's another one I worked up, which is this has to be part of Surf Banjo.
If you like it, let us know in the comments. We're going to take time to read the comments after the show tonight. When I, Marlene and I enjoy a beer, or six, who knows? And uh, we're going to enjoy saying hi to you all, too. So check this out. Here we go. I had fun working this one up. And even though I got the Sonic Neosporin, which is reverb, I'm still going to check my tuning.
There you have it, friends. The unabridged, extended, Inagata de Vida inspired version of Malaganya. Wow, that was a hell of an adventure. Friends, that was the first installment of Surf Banjo. If you like it, let us know. If you really liked it, tell other people. Because this is something that I don't think very many people know about. Because I just don't think it's happening. So, I hope to just be able to really nail these tunes better. And, uh, woo! Cheers to you, friends. I'm going to be critiquing myself as I rewatch the video. Man, that was fun. Surf banjo, friends. Yes. All right. And they got a defeat of Bob Powell in the Garden of Eden. I think that's what they were trying to say. Ron Bushy, Doug Engel, Eric Braun. Hell of a, I know there's one more member. I, know you, I bet you didn't think I knew that. <laughs> oh, man. That's a hell of a lineup. All right. So, friends, looks like we got a little bit more time in bag fry time. And I'll tell you what, another reason we love doing this is, one, just because you're... you're you're willing to go on the adventure with us and uh, interact as a really, really cool group. So we thank that. Anything blues for Jack Weldon or Steve Studebaker? All righty. Well, since we're already way outside the, the realm of traditional bluegrass, um, we're just doing some banjo music now. I'll do some blues for you. And uh, then, then we'll, we'll wind it on in. If there's any uh, requests that I haven't done or any sing-alongs you want to do, we'll go until 9 o'clock, uh, specific standard time. And then... Uh, yeah, because I definitely want to get that in. And also to let you know, this Friday is Johnny Cash Hour on Live from the Polzac Ponderosa. And I'll be doing a solid hour of my favorite Johnny Cash songs. Any of your requests, if I don't know it, um, out of respect for Mr. Cash, I'm not going to, you know, screw it up too much. So if I do know it, I'll do it. Um, I'm going to do some more surf banjo work, and I'm also going to uh, woodshed heavily on some Johnny Cash songs this week so that I can get them dialed in. But tell your friends, too, if you, if you know of anybody who's into Johnny Cash, let them know that this Friday on the Polzak Ponderosa from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're doing Johnny Cash Hour. There we go. All right. So we, uh, Mr. Mr. Jack Weldon, for Tyler, cool. We got some Dick Dale in there with some Miss Blue, and uh, he likes to hear some some blue stuff. Let's do it, man. <laughs> some more slide banjo and then uh, taking it for landing friends my buddy Hank Manninger is tuning in Hank I just finished the surf banjo set Hank is a big influence in uh, surf music in my life he's a member of the aqua velvets surf band and we play in the uh, high tide trio together and Hank I did uh, 
I did Wipeout, Mitchellu, Pipeline, Ghost Riders, Comanche, and Malaganya on the five string, man. It came out really, really well. Uh, and I think the folks dug it. So we're, Hank, I'm definitely going to do some more uh, surf banjo. It really worked, man. I think, it, I think, I think we're on to something here. Oh, yeah. All right. Surf sub banjo, you betcha. Jack is air guitaring. Yes. Oh, right on. Jack the cowboy, ladies and gentlemen. Our 11-year-old fan, I think, is... is uh, getting on here, yeah. All righty, friends. Well, let's see here now. Since, since my buddy Hank is tuned in, Hank, let's, 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 let's do... Uh, Let's, let's do one that we do for the folks, man. How about some pluck old hen? Hank does a great bass line on this. When I record this, you'll, you'll hear what I mean because Hank's going to play bass, hopefully. Hank, I just volunteered you in front of everybody. If you don't want to do it, let me know, but I would love to record this one with you. Friends, this album, Risky Riot, is a collaboration with Hank and I. Pick it up on Vintage Compact Disc. I'm so proud of it. You can hear Comanche on there as well, our arrangement. So many of these songs Hank and I arranged together, and I'm super proud of that. So lots of love to you, Hank. Lots of love, man. And this is also a Team Eminem. <laughs> Team Eminem. Do, 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 production. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Marlene doing here right there. She's looking really cute today, too, dancing all around on these songs and taking notes. Hank, green onions, <laughs> Booker T. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Cool. I'm going to add that to uh, the surf banjo list. Thank you. 
favorite banjo players is on right now, Mr. Robert Earl Davis of the Earl Brothers, whose uh, arrangement of Cluckle Hand inspired me to go where I go with that one. But uh, the, main, the main phrase there, Bobby Earl, man, you inspired me so much on that. Friends, check out the Earl Brothers, San Francisco-based band. Uh, fantastic sound. Fantastic sound. Some, just that dark old hillbilly stuff. It's great. And Bobby Earl's banjo playing, I'm a big fan of. And I, I'm honored that you're tuning in today, man, and that uh, you tuned in during Cluck Old Hem, the uh, version that you inspired. Right on, friends. My buddy Jimmy Bro is here, so I'm going to do uh, two more. I'm going to do the Amadei two-step, and then, Jimmy, I'm going to work up some more uh, Cajun tunes on the banjo. Uh, I'm glad you're back, man. And also, uh, then we'll end probably on Train 45. Nanook uh, requested Ruben's train to finish, so... Uh, I could do, or I might just do a hopped up version of Ruben's Train. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll check with Marlene because I know she loves Train 45. Uh, so for my buddy Jimmy Bro right now, ladies and gentlemen. Great friend, world-class musician, Grammy-winning accordion player, and all around just fantastic guy. And does the best droopy dog impersonation ever. Uh, I miss, Jimmy, I miss you. So I'm going to play this one, man, because just like Bob Arrow inspired that arrangement, you inspired this one the first time we played together out at Isleton way back. I was like 24, 25, because it was 2004, 2005. And uh, any opportunity to play with you, I love, man. Fresh strings. The Amade Two Step from my buddy, Jimmy Bro. Jimmy. Another great musician, friends, is Mr. Forrest Day. Check him out. And uh, his music, his songwriting, incredible. And 
It's just been way too long since we've seen each other, Mr. Forrest Day. So I'm honored that you tuned into the Bonanza. Uh, we're in bag fry time now, which means we've got an hour over. But sometimes that happens because today was Surf Banjo Day. So we were just, we were riding the wave, man. So friends, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up right now. Thank you so much for stopping by and paying, paying us a visit today at the Banjo Bonanza. If, uh, if you like to surf banjo, uh, let us know. I will work up some more tunes and continue to hone these in. And uh, because you guys are so generous in your financial enthusiasm and support of the show, that allows us time to do that. I'll, I'll woodshed the hell out of the tunes. Marlene is uh, woodshedding to keep uh, you know, the camera going, keep the film the camera you know, not crashing. Look at this, crossing our fingers. But uh, yeah, the dual camera angles, she's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Marlene. Oh my goodness. And plus, the, the best smile, you can hear her smile. When she smiles, I play better. So she is, and writing down the request, I love you, honey. She's doing awesome. Team Eminem! <laughs> Team Eminem! Do, 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 do. All right, friends. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it on up here. Let's finish it up on train 45, shall we? This has always been a fun tradition to finish this up on. Next, uh, Friday we have Johnny Cash Hour on the Ponderosa, and then next Banjo Bonanza, I don't know yet, but it'll be, I'll probably throw in some surf too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start to dig deep into some old time tunes and play them three fingered style, which is always a fun challenge. standing on one foot right now. I'm still standing on one foot. Are you ready to ride the rails of glory? Are you ready to get on board? We're bowling here at the Flying Joe Bonanza on the Polzak Ponderosa. We've had a good time surfing the waves with you, riding the adventures of music, rhythm, and harmony. It's been so much fun to get on with you, friends. Now we're ready to ride the rails of glory. It's so awesome to have this jerk-free zone community here where so many folks get together and say howdy to each other. We're here to celebrate the music. We're here to keep the music alive. We're here to keep the music going. We're here to make sure that the musical chrome does not get any rust. We're here to keep it shiny, unless we want a nice patina, and that's okay. Friends, are you ready to roll with me? Are you ready to roll on train 45? Mr. Forrest Day, are you ready to go? Mary Wheeler, I know, is ready to go. Mr. Bob Powell is ready to go. Ryan is ready to go, even though it's a school night, and he's got lots of cars fixed tomorrow. But we're feeling ready, we're feeling good. Are you ready, friends? Shall we get ready to roll? Let's do some train 45.
surf banjo being the theme. Lots of love from the Pozak Ponderosa.